You watch Zachary Campbell? I have no idea who that is. Let's do this though. Hi, I'm Amber Lynn Reed. I am 27 years old and I am 529 pounds. I'm oh, she gained weight. She gained weight though. That's not good. I'm sure you have seen the comments and you've seen the videos. You've seen the live streams and the forums. Oh, is she talking about me? She's talking about my live streams? <laughs> is that me she's talking about? Drary07, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you. Did you watch Dance Moms? Yes, I watched Dance Moms. I love it, I believe. <laughs> Forums where people create scenarios, rumors, mm. and situations to manipulate other people's opinions of me. I'm See, this, th oh my god, this like bothers the fuck out of me to so much. With, it bothers me so much with her because she makes it, she's a victim in all of this, I guess. The thing that gets me is people don't make up rumors. I mean, people make up rumors about her. I'm not going to lie or whatever. But the, the most of the time, people call her out on the bullshit. So it's like, I don't see how that is like someone is manipulating her audience. Like, you have to take some ownership in the fact that this is what you created, right? So... When when people come onto my channel and they like want to like cut the tea and like blah blah like be be like messy and all that stuff like I'm not gonna turn around and be like I don't understand why everyone's so messy on my ch in my comments like not that y'all are messy or whatever but y'all are funny and catty and like you fucking just fucking shoot the shit and it's I fucking love it like it fucking it 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 cracks me the fuck up but I would not ex I would not sit here and then be like why is everyone doing this like you have to like take some accountability for like the way your channel has become has for what it is now like th this is your doing no one else did this to you right so you you vlogging your life and you going back on your word and you lying constantly and you con constantly playing the victim has in turn this is the this is what has come from this, right? This is what you have produced from all of this. This is your doing. This is no one else's doing. Hey Willow. So like that's my thing. That's like one of my biggest things is like take some accountability for what you do. Like remember I remember when Leafy was doing his stuff, right? And like he got a lot of shit for it. And you would go in his comments and like of course, like that is like I don't think he expected anything different from like his viewers and stuff. Like I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand what she's, why, why she's saying that like she, the world or the audience is being manipulated. How by like holding you accountable and holding your feet to the fire? I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense to me. Little bish, can you react to more of her vlog type? Of, yeah, I can. Thank you for the. Can you time. react to more of her vlog type bits? I'm not a liar. I'm not a deceiver are, and I liar. don't manipulate people. Am I? You do though. Like every video you do is you manipulating your audience to get some kind of reaction or some kind of sympathy or to get some kind of troll. Like the videos she was posting lately of her like dancing and like her makeup tutorial or makeup thing or whatever. It's like, I don't know. You are doing, you know what you're putting out into the world. You have to have some kind of fucking you have to take some kind of responsibility for that like you dancing and that is you don't think people are going to be like why is she doing this you're clearly doing this to like get views and to get clickbait and that's why you pick those thumbnails like i ugh, it bothers me my opinion i am misunderstood i've also been given several several chances to prove myself I and you've let your audience down so many times like that could not be a truer thing that she has said is that you've been given several chances and several several opportunities to prove yourself and to make and do the right thing and you consistently don't. So like what? We're everyone's supposed to just give you more chances now? Like I don't I don't get it. I'm the girl who buys tons of jewelry to yep. somehow hide behind a super morbidly obese body. I buy tons of journals to write a story I feel like I'm never gonna complete. I'm moody, I'm a mess, I'm restless, I'm depressed. Someone brought this up in my group or whatever, and it, are those lyrics to an Ashley Simpson song? 
I'm he was saying that the, those are the lyrics to um Ashley Simpson's fucking I'm gonna look him up right now. Ashley Simpson song. I can't remember the name of the song. Pieces of me, yes. Pieces of me. Let's look it up real quick. Pieces of me lyrics. Let's look them up. On a Monday, I'm waiting. Tuesday, I'm fading. Blah, blah, blah. I am moody I am, and messy. I get restless and it's senseless. It, she did pretty much just like full on just like copy some Ashley Simpson lyrics. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead, dude. Oh, shit. He was right. I can't. I'm the girl who hasn't left her bedroom in five days. Of course, I leave to go to the bathroom or to get something to eat. I, have I love how she has to add that. Like, of course, I get up and go to the bath. I, bitch, I would hope. I would hope that you're able to get up and use the bathroom. Jesus. I hope you're not just fucking letting loose on those sheets or whatever. I haven't brushed my hair in about a week. I feel defeated, lonely. I do YouTube for a living. This is how I pay my bills. This I'm over the jump cuts. This is how I eat, pay electricity. I have a roof over- Notice how in her priority list of things that are important for her, she did this in the Snapchat rant too. Um, she's like, this is how I pay my bill. This is how I pay for things. This is how I pay to eat. It's always eat. It's always food first. If you've noticed, it's eat, then electricity, because we all know we got to have the internets. And then it's shelter. It's not shelter, food, then electricity. It's always food, electricity, then shelter. Every time. Every time. Over my head, a pillow to lay on at night. I come from a very, very toxic and unhealthy family. I, when I was nine, probably. I was taken from class by a cop who took me and my brothers to a children's shelter. From then on, I became a ward of the state and I was in foster care until the age of 18. My parents were drug addicts, they neglected me. I lived in a trailer that was falling apart with mold and holes. I saw my dad hit my mom more times than I can even count. In school, I was known as Fat Amber. On YouTube, I'm known as the most hated YouTuber. I I mean, I don't know if I would go to like the most hated YouTuber. I mean, I can name a few people that people can't fucking stand more than you. Like, I'm sure Logan Paul got way more fucking haters than you do. I'm sure Fousey Tube's got way more fucking haters than you do. I'm sure there's a, I can list a shit ton of more people. Jake Paul has way more haters. In fact, anyone a part of like Logang or like fucking, what is their, I don't know, dude. I'm not 12 years old, so I really don't know what Jake Paul calls his people. What are they called? I don't, someone will, I'm sure someone will fucking say it. But to, to, to make that same, like, I am the most hated person on YouTube, girl, like, if you probably wish, like, you'd be making way more money if you were the most hated person on YouTube. Like, come on. Onision, yes, that is another one. On people fucking hate Onision. So, like, I don't know, like, I think people are just tired of your shit and your viewers are tired of your shit. I don't know if that would make you the most hated, like, oh, and also her talking about her past or whatever. I honestly would not be that opposed to Amberlynn t discussing her past. I would not be that, like, because I do think, I, I think Amberlynn's been through some shit. I, I mean, obviously she's been through some shit. Team 10, that's what they were called. Tana, Tana's most, Clout Gang, hate them. I really don't like Elijah Daniel either. I'm going to put that out there. I fucking love Christine. I can't stand Elijah. Um, but um, I think that uh, her past is very interesting and unique. And if she came at it with like a more healthy, um, a thought out, articulated way of talking about her li her past and like how she's trying to overcome it. I'm not going to say she's overcome it because she hasn't, obviously. I feel like that would be more relatable to people than doing these depression rant things, right? And I think that um, <sighs> these are very touchy things because I do think that it's important for... I love how everyone's bringing up everyone that sucks right now, like Daddy05, <laughs> the Laura Lee gang or whatever. That Oh my God, that whole shit was hilarious. The beauty guru bullshit. But... um. When you're talking about your life and you're talking about um, depression and anxiety, like I suffer from anxiety, I suffer from agoraphobia, like all those stuff, all the, 
all I suffer from those t- two things mainly. I do kind of have depression, but like I'm not that bad with that. It, it's very, it's a very touchy and tiptoey thing because it's unique to everyone and it's a case by case thing. I feel as though when Amberlynn talks about her depression, and I'm not trying to discredit her depression or discredit her anxiety because I'm sure she suffers from it. The thing that gets me is it's almost a caricature of what a depressed person is supposed to be, right? I feel as though she's read this on Wikipedia somewhere or she's, I don't know, she's read it in a pamphlet somewhere and this is her idea of what she thinks her audience thinks that depression is supposed to look like it's supposed to be someone who doesn't take showers i guess who can't leave their bed for days at a time who and obviously there's very there's varying degrees of depression or whatever but i i literally ate that word or whatever and i just feel as though there are there's nothing unique about her depression and there's nothing that like she's saying that like people don't deal with The only difference is that instead of being a proactive participant in overcoming her mental illness, she decides to wallow in it and then profit off of it. So that's like, that is, that's the, the, the difference, right? So, because I've, I've wanted to make a video talking about how my anxiety and agoraphobia have affected my life, but I'm, I manage my anxiety and agoraphobia. I'm not going to say overcome it because I deal with it every day. It's an ongoing, it's a battle every day. When she comes on here and she talks about how she hasn't been able to move for five days or she hasn't taken a shower for five days, I don't think she understands what a luxury it must be to not have to be able to do anything for five days because there's people who deal with crippling and debilitating depression every day. And every day they have to get up and take care of their kids or take care of an elderly parent and go to work and deal with the stressors of normal life. And they don't have the luxury of being able to just say, I give up and I'm just going to live in my bed all day. There, You know, like, I don't know. That's just like, I wish she had more awareness of what it's like to deal with depression for a normal person. Like, that's what I wish. I wish she had more awareness of what it's like for someone who's dealing with anxiety and depression and don't have the luxury of getting $11,000 a month for eating, you know, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, that's what I wish. That's what I wish. If she said, if she talked about something like that, that would be super fucking relatable. If she, if she talked about how her depression is hard and it's hard dealing with the social media, cause I'm sure it's probably hard. And then she, but she has the luxury of not being a, of being able to be bed bound or like, you know, I don't know. Like I wish she would talk more about that. And then that would be more relatable to the audience. And I think people would give her a fucking break. I honestly do think that she would give, but she doesn't do that. Instead she acts as if like her depression is unique to her and no one else and no, and no one else can understand. I don't know. That's, Let's keep going. I don't cry for views. I don't eat. You don't cry for views? What the fuck? You don't cry for views? We got a car vlog of you having an anxiety attack. Like, I mean, I don't know. I understand that there are different kinds of anxiety attacks. I understand that there's different ways that people have panic attacks. I know I have panic attacks. I have panic disorder, I've generalized anxiety disorder. Um, whenever I've had an anxiety attacks, they've been so bad. I mean, I can't even, I've never, I couldn't even get my phone out to call 911 one time. Like my vision was so fucked and blurry and I had, my my body was just convulsing so bad that I couldn't even, I couldn't even get my brain to control my muscles enough to call 911 for help. I just had to sit there on the ground and just fucking like go through it and deep breathe my way out of it. Like, cause there was just, I couldn't do it. I didn't have the forethought to like, to go to go through that panic because I don't know and so like for her to sit here and be like I don't cry for views you do a lot of things for views like you eat for views you fucking troll for views and you cry for views like let's be real like uh I don't I don't understand it I don't get that from the people that I've talked to because I go to weight loss th- I go to weight loss support groups we talk about our anxiety all the time like when we are discussing and we're empathizing and we're relating to each other on this level, like we talk about what it's like to have a panic attack and what, 
we do to overcome it. And, you know, I talk to my therapist about this all the time. Like, and I don't, I've never once been like, I need to get my camera out and record this so I can put it up on YouTube. I don't think that's a normal thought for a lot of people, you know? So I don't, it, it just bothers me or whatever. You know, a lot of people have said in my comments, I'm going to, when I make, I'm going to talk a little bit about it right now. I touch my face a lot. If you've noticed this, I touch my nose a lot. I bite my lips or I lick my lips and I touch my face or wipe my eyes. If I'm really stressed out and I feel an anxiety attack coming, I don't want to call it a tick because it's not a tick. It's just a habit of ritual that I do. Um, I touch my nose because the, th the first things that start going numb for me when I start having my panic attacks are my nose and my lips. And I can, f and I have varying degrees of panic throughout the day that I go through. Like when I'm really stressed out, you'll see me touch my nose a lot and rub my nose a lot because it's me reaffirming in my brain that my nose is there and I'm okay. Or I touch my lips and bite my lips a lot. It's me I don't know, getting some kind of sensation back into my lips than then just like existing. I don't know what it is. I've talked to my therapist about it before and she says that they're just my rituals or my tics that I do. Um, I can't, I've tried to, self-soothing mechanisms, that is what they're called. Oh my God, Addie, you're, that is what she called them. I couldn't think of the word, self-soothing mechanisms. That is what they are. And um, I, that is just like my, I don't know. And people have called me out in my videos about it. And I can't, there's, I've tried to cut them out of my videos, but I talk so a really fast and B, um, I do it so much that it, it, my video would look, be like fucking unintelligible at that point. So I've wanted to talk about that before because I am very self-conscious about it. There have been many a time I've been on blind dates and I've been on first dates and I, someone has said that to me, a couple, like two men have said that to me when we were out to eat and he was like, why do you keep touching your nose? And it's such a fucking like, I don't want to, it's, it's not embarrassing, but it's like, you, you don't want to be like, I have panic attacks. And so when I sit here and I'm touching my nose, I feel like my nose is falling off my face. So I have to do it to make, to like recheck myself to let me know that my nose is still there. And then you have to go into the whole like, well, why do you have anxiety attacks? Well, and it's like, that's a lot to go down on, on the first date. People have said that in at school, especially when I'm taking a test. I had a professor come up to me and he said, um, he's like, I noticed when you're taking tests because um, I do have, it's not dis disabled students or whatever, but I have, the school does know that I suffer from anxiety attacks and panic attacks. And so I do have the option of taking my test um, with by myself in like a private room. But I don't do that because I try my hardest. I've done that once, but I try my hardest to just be a part of the school because I just want to exist. I don't want to like, I don't, in, in, my, in my way, like with my behavioral therapist, my way of getting over things is exposing myself to things. So I, I'm going on this super long rant right now about my life. So the way that, um, so the way that I, overcome these obstacles or these barriers in my life is not by sheltering myself from those 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 negative um those negative reactions or those negative influences i try to tackle them head on and sometimes i succeed in that and sometimes i don't so there but there have been times where um i've been in in my class and my professor has pulled me aside after my test and he's been like why do you touch your nose or your face so much while you're taking a test? Because he thinks that I'm like doing something mischievous or something. And I like have to explain that to them. And it's, it's kind of embarrassing, but it's just, it is what it is. Um, that, well, that was a fucking rant. <laughs> and I hope you guys, I don't know. That was, I've just, I've been wanting to talk about that for a long time because um, I notice it too, especially when I'm, um, especially when I'm editing my videos, like I do notice it and I do, I'm not embarrassed by it, but I've wanted to explain it for a long time. Like why I do those certain things. Um, I'll be at school sometimes and just like start doing like in two, three, fours, out two, three, fours. And people look at me like I'm crazy too. Like I sit there with my eyes closed and just go, Because I feel the panic coming on and I don't want to have panic attack at school because it's scary and everyone overreacts and it makes it worse. Um, Make you, videos so about chat. mental health heart. Thank you so much. Um, so I, I, I've, yeah, 
I've, I don't know. I've wanted to talk about that. There's been a lot of things I want to talk about. I've had a burst of like wanting to create like more content lately. I don't have a camera right now. <laughs> I made the decision to get a new camera, but I sold my old camera. My new camera doesn't come until tomorrow, but I sold my old, old one on Monday. So I haven't been able to film anything. I've been, th I've been thinking about these things in my head for the past week. And I guess now I'm just like blurting it all out there, but I'm going to make videos about all this stuff eventually. But yeah. I don't even know what the fuck we were talking about originally, but yeah, let's keep going. Eat for views. I live my life, although a dull one, and I just want to share it with everyone out there. I'm not a narcissist. I don't- I think you are though. Use or mooch the people around me. I get told- I think she does though. <laughs> constantly. Amberlynn, you're a liar. All you ever do is lie, lie, lie. What happens when my reality is different than yours, and really you're just going off of biased opinions? I love see that's the thing that like are they biased opinions or like is your reality delusion so <laughs> like I understand like my by everyone's opinion has a bias like there's no way to like live and have a, a objective opinion about things anymore because our experiences and our knowledge affect the way that we feel about certain things and certain topics right so like I obviously have a biased opinion when it comes to Amberlynn because I feel like she gives fat people a bad name by living up to every single stereotype that a fat person has to battle against every day. So I obviously have a feeling or a negative reaction to her already. Now, when I make my videos and I literally just play what she says against what she's said, I'm not, that's not, that's just a fact. Like when you lie and then we catch you in said lie, that's just what it is. You lied. No one is like, trying to fucking like no one's manipulating your words no one's doing any of this shit it's you literally lying and that's just what it is and i don't know how you know when i made the opinion or when i made the video saying amberlyn reed is fake news i mean i don't i'm not a trump fan by any means and i don't want to get into this whole conversation about like trump this trump that blah 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 but like i think one thing that most people can agree on is that he does not tell the truth all the time and so I do look at her as the Donald Trump of YouTube sometimes because she's literally she's what she is saying, right, is that I make these videos and I get caught in these lies, but they're not lies. And and I think she even let's just keep going. I love to dance and I love to sing. I have three fur babies that I love dearly. Two cats and a dog. My cats are Wasabi and Rarity Gray and my dog is Twinkie Star. Without them, I feel like I would be absolutely lost. <laughs> I was never that great in school. I will agree with her on that stuff. With my animals, they are my emotional support animals, whether they like it or not. So Moose, I'm sorry, but whenever I pick you up and I force you to cuddle with me, that just is what it is. Okay, I feed you. I pick up your poop. The least you can do is fucking cuddle with me every now and then, okay? Monkey's way more into the cuddling because he's a dog. Moose is a cat. For all those... Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much, How Chris. How does she not see the constant contradictions? I don't know. We literally play them for it, and she doesn't see it. For those of you who don't know, I have this weird thing where I like to name animals after other animals. So I have a cat named Moose, and I have a dog named Monkey, or Monk for short. Um, my dog, Monkey, he's always down to cuddle or whatever. But um, my cat moose i love to cuddle with him more because purring is very soothing to me and so i try to get him to cuddle with me more even though he really doesn't like it because he's a cat but yeah he's not well i'm not gonna say all cats don't like to cuddle because there are cats that like to my cat doesn't he's a loner he like he's me in cat form he doesn't want to be touched he doesn't want to be talked to he rolls his eyes whenever i come and talk to him or try to pet him and it's me and that's why i love him until I decided to go to college for criminal justice and I fought so hard for straight A's and I actually got them. When you put your mind to something- Okay, I'm not gonna try to like, she don't respect the animals. I don't think she respect the animals. Um, I'm going to quickly say, okay, Amberlynn went to ITT Tech. I'm not trying to like hate on people who've gone to those technical schools or whatever, but like ITT Tech was clearly a for-profit school. I think as long as you paid and you showed up, you passed. I don't think it was like, it's not like she was going to like a, a state-run school or like a, or a community school. She went to a for-profit college and for-profit colleges are known for like 
doctoring documents and not giving real actual accredited licenses to people. So, I mean, uh, did you go to school? Like, I guess technically, but like, you know, I don't know if I'd call it school. <laughs> like, let's keep going. And you really try at something, you can succeed. When I see a homeless person, I give them money, even if they're gonna go buy alcohol. Both of my parents and my brother have been homeless before, so I have seen the true meaning of living a homeless life. Knowing people who are homeless and living a homeless life are two completely entirely different things, okay? I know people who are drug addicts. Does that mean I know what it's like to be a drug addict? Fuck no. I know what it's like to be around people who are drug addicts. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, th th those are two completely different things. I don't even know why she's even bringing that shit up. My mom, my dad and brother were homeless. So I know what it's like to live homeless. Bitch, you don't know what it's like to be homeless. Like, what the fuck? Like, were you homeless? If you were homeless, then, then you can talk about being homeless. But, like, if you'd never have been homeless, then you can't say you know what it's like to be homeless. Like, what the fuck? Like, that makes no fucking sense. <sighs> Whatever. I am a lesbian. I have a girlfriend that I love so much. She's patient with me and she accepts me for who I am. I don't know. Does she, though? Or does she put up with it because you're the meal ticket? Miss Just Tiffany. got paid today, so here ya go. Much love to you and I love your live streams. This is my happy place. <laughs> Face massage in Berlin is the definition of narcopath. She is... I think you meant nar... I don't know what a narcopath is. Do I need... I've never heard the word narcopath. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look this up real quick. Because I was gonna say, maybe you meant nar psychopath? But maybe a narcopath is a thing. What is a narcopath? Oh, narcissistic sociopath mix. Okay. What do you get when you cross a sociopath with a narcissist? That's the least funniest joke. <laughs> That's funny. That's, I don't know. They move from zero to 100 in seconds. Their broken record, their broken records of compliments. A narcopath will sweep you off your feet, place you on a pedestal, then worship you from down below. They'll tell you the things that you wanted to hear, saying, "But listen closely, and you'll notice that there's nothing, there's no more variation in their love monologues." They flatter you with comparisons. Your chemistry between the sheets is off the charts. Oof, God, I don't, that, I'm done reading that list now because I don't want to know about that. I'm not here for it. So what I want out of my life and I feel like my thoughts are hard to convey. Everything within my mind is just jambled and confused. Is jambled a word? I don't think jambled. I think she meant jumbled. Jambled. Jambled. Well, Urban Dictionary says it's a word, but it's not what she's thinking. <laughs> They're saying it's a musical jam session, with, which includes spontaneous lyrical rambling. I think she meant jumbled. I'm going to go with she meant jumbled. Right now, I'm struggling. I'm caught in a situation where I don't know if it's... Do you get audition type vi tape vibes too? Yes, I do from this. My antidepressant making me worse, or if my depression is so bad that Lexapro just doesn't work for me. I have... See, that's like a really... I don't know. I'm not her doctor, so I don't really know what the fuck's going on with her, like, medicine and her, like, physiological responses to said medicine. But I think it's a very large claim to be like, I don't think Lexapro works for my depression. You don't take it right. So, like, how would you know? You never take it right. You never take it at the same fucking time. Like, you stopped taking it because you felt like it. So, can we sit here and say that you don't know if your Lexapro works for your depression? It could very well work. You just refuse to fucking use it right. Like, I haven't been able to leave this hazed mind for almost a week now. If I she talks like she read this off Tumblr. Could be anywhere right now. I'd probably lay in a field oh my God. of sunflowers and just look up at the sky and ask why. Why me? I constantly. Why? What do you mean? Why you? Like, are you for real right now? Is that the amount, is that the kind of pity party we're going to throw ourselves right now? Because you're making $11,000 a month off YouTube and you've eaten yourself to five, to almost being immobile and you want to look up at the sky and ask God, why? Why you? Holy shit. If that's not the most entitled bratty thing I think I've ever fucking heard. Why you, bitch? Why you, you, you think God is going to answer to you right now? Like the fuck? I am so confused right now. Why you? 
why while there's people in Africa who are fucking starving to death, while there's people who are being born with incredibly debilitating physical handicaps, like the but why you though, Amberlynn? Like I can't. Like she has no sense of like how lucky her life really is to be real. Like I'm sure she's been through some really fucked up shit when she was younger, but like come on. Like the fuck? Nope, thank you so much for the super chat. Love watching your videos heart after work. Uh, why? We wonder why was I chosen to go through the things I went through to become 529 pounds, to oh have God. depression, and to have a whole huge online community. See, this to me is like the personification of like egotistical like why me why did i have to go through like this shit bitch you're not the only one who's been through things the fuck but thank she's so agnostic much, though chat. thank you so much is it chris yes chris thank you so much for the super chat why me though like i don't know i'm gonna do a video talking because someone wanted me to do a video talking about my experience as an only child i will do that eventually Eventually, I will do that. Everyone's gone through things. As you grow up as an adult, you realize that there are, that everyone's got shit. Everything, everyone's, Monica, thank you so much for the super chat. She really doesn't understand how MH care works. It took me seven to eight tries to get on the right antidepressant face with rolling eyes, face with rolling eyes, face with rolling eyes. Yeah, she's clearly uneducated and ignorant about like how mental illnesses are treated correctly i mean i've i know i've been on antidepressants before i've tried five different ones it's not a walk in the park and you rarely do you get the does the first one work that's like a rarity but um the thing that like really gets me is like she has no sense of like how entitled her life really is and like it fucking bothers me so much hate me for something that isn't true. I understand when there's two stories, you want to choose one. And it sucks because one person is telling the truth and yet she's perceived as the liar. I she's talking about herself with that role, that sigh at the end. Bitch, you were, people perceive you as a liar because you lied. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, am I losing, am I missing something? I am extremely empathetic. If I'm hanging out with someone and they're in a bad mood, I automatically take on their emotions and I become kind of in a bad mood. If See, I don't believe that one bit because, like, you're constantly prodding people in public. Like, how many times have we watched her just completely tear Becky down in front of us? Like, or how many times have we seen her, like, force her will on other people and fucking and force Becky to take her out to eat? Sorry, I'm late. Came flying in like a bean bag in a hurry. <laughs> that shit's never going to get old. So, like, my thing is, like, we've seen her just completely force her will on people all the time. So I don't know why she's trying to pretend that, like, now she's an empath and she, like, is so affected by those around her. If you were really that affected by the moods of people around you, you would be constantly agitated them because Ricky can't stand your fucking ass. So, like, I don't know... <laughs> like... I don't understand what you're trying to convey by saying all this shit. I think you're just trying to pretend that like you care about other people when you really don't. If I see someone crying, if they're a stranger, I follow suit and I feel their pain. To have yeah, right. that empathetic personality, it's bittersweet. Not only do I- I don't, do you, are you really that empathetic to how people feel around you? Because you wouldn't put your girlfriend in the situations that you put her in all the time then, right? By constantly, like, I mean, God, I don't get it. Take on the role of feeling everyone else's emotions, but I also have to deal with mine. If I was given a second chance and a clean sleep, I feel like I would do everything differently. Wouldn't when I all. lay down at night with my head on the pillow, I wonder if I'll wake up. She lied. She lied right there. It's not pillow, it's pillows. And realized that everything was just a dream. The hate comments, the threats, being told I'm unwanted and hated. It's a nightmare that I live in my reality. More than anything, I want people to see me for the real person that I am. But rumors are like the plague and I feel like it'll never stop. It'll just be a vicious cycle until the day that I die. I used to steal when I was younger. When I was a teenager, I rebelled. She used to steal from her foster family. <laughs> That's like real tea. Like she used to steal, like they would get, she would get money from the state, obviously because she was a ward of the state. She would get money, like school lunch, free school lunches. And then her like foster parents would give her money for lunch so she could have two lunches. That's oh, true. Again. That's not a rumor. That's truth. 
She said that. It's everyone and anything that I can get my hands on. I would steal shoes from stores, makeup from stores. I didn't have anything. I didn't have anyone. I felt like nobody cared about me. So I started stealing. I was drinking and smoking all the time. My last year of high school, I finally got persuaded into doing better and really focusing on what mattered the most. My point is, I've I've made mistakes, I really have, and one thing I've learned from my mistakes is that when I admit to them, it doesn't make my mistakes right, but it gives me a chance to forgive myself. God, I love fashion so much. This is, where the fuck did that come from? So it's just like talking about how she needs to ask for forgiveness for herself, and then it's like, it's like, you know, I need to forgive for myself and da 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 da. And then I love fashion. Like, this is, the, I hate her vlog. I hate the way she like cuts her shit. It really bothers me. And I love makeup. I just, I I'm not makeup. in the body to where I can actually wear something or have my makeup be done and actually consider it beautiful. Have you ever felt like a monster? People stare at me like I'm like a creature from the ocean. And then I put myself out there on YouTube expecting some positive feedback or something. I was watching a YouTube video once and they said, don't listen. Thank you for the super chat. She doesn't have an empathetic bone in her body. She doesn't. To your bad commenters, don't let them define you, but also don't let the good ones define you either. That really, really stuck to me. Is that, isn't that literally what Zachary Michael said yesterday or whatever? Like, I can't remember exactly what he said word for word, but he like made a, I think it was a quote from, was it Jefferson? I can't remember. Me, I always read a good comment and think that they're lying because I get so much negativity all the time. It's hard to believe anyone would like me. I don't know what my future videos look like or what my future looks like in general. Bleak. I have a therapist I'm talking to. I'm hoping that the therapist is a fit for me because I don't want to be wasting my time with someone who just doesn't get me. I appreciate See, to me, that was code for he's either going to tell me exactly what I want to hear or I'm bouncing the fuck out. That's what that, that's what that, he's a fit for me. And if he doesn't tell me what I want to hear, then I won't pay him anymore. Why is she trying to act like a poet? The cringe. Thank you for the super chat. I don't know, because she thinks she's a writer. <laughs> appreciate my subscribers, my views. I appreciate yeah. that I can make a living off of doing something that I truly enjoy. But right now... I'm currently not myself. Struggling with this dark fog has been painful. And then I go online and see horrible things being said about me and spread about me and it just makes this process even worse. I don't- This is totally a casting call tape. She's like looking down answering questions and the editing is all weird. <laughs> will you react to her recent vlogs? Heart heart. I will. What vlogs though? I don't know what ones. I don't know what kind of videos though. I'm going to be filming. I don't even know how I will be feeling two days from now. But I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep pushing forward. And I'll try my hardest not to let anyone down. I just want to end with you never know what someone is struggling with. Just because someone gets up every day Our and goes M14 to work emphasis or takes their kids to school does not mean they're not suffering. Don't believe yeah. everything that you read online. If you didn't hear it from me, then it's probably not true. See, that's what really, that gets me right there. If you didn't hear it from me, then it's probably not true. Okay, Donald Trump. But like, what if we do hear it from you and it's not true? Like, I don't, what if you lie? Like, I don't, that to me is like, you better be a part of this fucking cult and be a better, you better be a part of the get along gang or you, you're the fuck, you're out. You're fucking out. Like, that fucking concerns the fuck out of me. Like, ugh, I don't like that. Like, you either, you either fucking, you either are down or if blood in or blood out. Like, that's some, like, gang shit. Like, I don't like that at all. That's fucking creep. That's creepy. And some advice that I'm giving you that I'm also giving myself. Stop and smell the roses. Stop. That's it. We're done.